What's the cost to taxpayers when a petition makes a ballot? It's what we're looking into now that one group claims to have enough signatures for a November election on police staffing. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark explains why the city of Austin has not budgeted for that ballot measure. We want to focus the fact that the group Save Austin Now wants voters to decide whether there should be more APD boots on the ground. Hey, we are sending a very clear message that this city supports law enforcement. And should the petition be certified for November's ballot, former UT public policy professor Don Kettle says there will be a lot of work involved. This includes translating documents into Spanish, hiring election judges and clerks, and maintaining voting equipment. What could be more democratic than having the voters have a chance to go to the polls and choose the kind of policies that they want. But the problem is that they don't have to often figure on what the consequences are. Kettle is talking about the cost to taxpayers. This is how much the Austin City Clerk's Office has budgeted for elections in recent years. The past fiscal year was a high with a presidential election and the camping ban proposal. The amount projected for the upcoming year is lower, but the Clerk's Office told us Tuesday it hasn't budgeted for the latest Save Austin Now ballot attempt. The city clerk told me she couldn't do an interview today because she was too swamped verifying Save Austin Now's petition. But she told me over email election budgets get amended depending on the type of election and how many, among other things. She told me in an email costs for an election can vary for a variety of reasons that are unknown when the city puts together a budget estimate. So what could a petition-driven election on police staffing cost? Especially in an off-year election year like this one, it can create a substantial extra burden. A reference point could be the camping ban initiative. The clerk's office says that added around $570,000 to the expenses. Kevin Clark, KXAN Investigates. The city clerk did not address our questions on where it would find the money to support the election costs. Save Austin Now's petition still must be certified by the clerk's office, which could take 12 to 15 days.